Peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. Uh, today I want to talk about a very controversial subject uh, that I see a lot of um, false teaching on. And, you know, before I get started with this uh, message, I want to say that just because you read a scripture, that does not mean that the Lord has given you revelation about it or understanding of that scripture. So it is very dangerous to read scripture and, and then teach from scripture. There is one teacher and that is the Holy Spirit. You have to be patient and cry out to him for understanding and for knowledge. If you teach anything of your own understanding of yourself before the Lord gives you revelation, then you, you will teach error. The truth is only of Jesus. So you have to be patient and wait for him to teach you all things, especially if you are going to teach on a thing. So, you know, I want to talk about marriage and uh, remarriage and divorce. Uh, you know, I, I see a lot of this. Anytime you have a subject where there's a lot of controversy, you, you can believe that Satan has his hands in it big time. So, you know, I want to give a proper understanding of the Lord's heart about this subject. So the first thing that you must understand about this subject is that Jesus Christ came here to teach us about the kingdom of God. He came to teach us how to be born again. And he came to teach us how to live once we are born again. So you, you have to understand that everything that the Lord taught uh, in, in his Sermon on the Mount uh, throughout the Gospels, everything that he taught was the way to life. He said, I am the way, the truth and the life. So everything that he taught was to show us the way. So it, it, it is for born again Christians. So having that understanding, you can see that when Jesus talks about marriage and, and, and he gives the parameters of, you know, how we should be married. It's one man and one woman. Uh, he gives us uh, the understanding of when we can divorce or if we should divorce. Everything that he taught, it was to those who are under the new covenant, his new covenant. So before you are under the new covenant, you are under the law. So that means that everything that you do before you are born again is under the law. When you are walking in death and condemnation, you are the old man. So uh, it, even if you get married seven times, all of the fornication that you commit, all of the lies that you tell is under the law. Now, once you and, and see this, I believe the problem is, is that people are not understanding what happens once we become born again. The word says that we die with Christ. We are buried with him and we rise again, a new creation. So we know that the word says that uh, when someone is married, they are married until death. So if while under the law to come into Christ, you must die. So. You can see then in the spirit, the bond of marriage is broken through death, crossing over into Christ, a new creation. The word says that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all 
all things have become new. So that means even if you uh, fornicated with a hundred different people, when you cross over into Christ, you are pure. Your heart has been purified. You are a virgin in God's sight. You are a new creature. So even, you know, in, in my situation, and I'll just say that I am married. I'm married to my first wife, so I don't have any reason. You know, a lot of a lot of times people will accuse someone who's remarried of, you know, teaching this kind of thing because, you know, they want to justify what they're doing. But I'm married to my first wife and I know that this understanding is from God. But, you know, when, once you cross over into being born again and, and you are filled with God's spirit, you have to understand the power of God, what is happening in the spirit. You are literally a new creature, just as the word teaches. You are purified. Everything that you have done before that point passes away. Old things have passed away. That means every marriage, every sin is all thrown into the sea of, forgive, of forgiveness. The Lord casts it away, is not remembered, and you become a new person. You, you walk in newness of life. So at that point, uh, when, when I was born again, I was married. So my oh everything before I was born again, my marriage, everything passed away. So once I cross over to being born again, I continue with Christ from that point. So it, it, my marriage becomes new. Even my marriage became new. It wasn't the same marriage. It, it's a new covenant marriage in Christ. Now, it's no longer of the law. If you cross over and you are single, like I said, you are a virgin in the sight of God. And then the Lord, through the Holy Spirit, gives us instruction on what to do if we are married and we're living with an unbeliever. You are to remain married if that unbeliever is willing to live with you in peace. If they decide they cannot uh handle you know the the your new walk with the lord you know you you know now you don't want to do certain things in the bedroom anymore you want to raise your kids a certain way um anything like that and they cannot live with you in peace because of your love for the lord and they decide to leave the word says that you are not under bondage to that marriage so you can't remarry but also, I want to say that once you are born again, anybody who truly loves God will not, they, they will do all that they can not to get a divorce. God hates divorce. He hates the breakage of families. And it is a wicked thing to teach people who are, you know, once they become born again and choose to follow Jesus, to teach them that they must now leave their spouse and go back to their first spouse. That is a teaching that is not of God. It is from Satan. And that is the truth. And the word even says in the Old Testament, you can look this up. The, the Lord calls it an abomination to go back to your first spouse. So, you know, I wanted to give this understanding because this is something that is really causing a lot of harm. It is causing a lot of harm, uh, causing people to really be in despair and um, breaking up families. And I understand that, you know, just as I know that I am and anybody who truly loves the Lord, you will be willing to do anything to have him. But I want to give you the truth. You, you need to know truth and not just move out of fear. Because anytime you are moving out of fear, that is of the enemy. That's not of the Lord. 
because he will lead you to all truth if you will trust him and follow him and cry out to him for understanding and be patient. A lot of people rush into teaching things and, and, and believing things before the Lord teaches you and he is the only teacher. So I hope this uh, helped. I hope this, I, you know, I, I was able to make this clear that there is a difference between being under the law and being under the new covenant and that everything that precedes you crossing over into the new covenant and being born again passes away. It doesn't matter if you've been married 10 times under the law. Once you are born again, you become a new creation, completely new, a new person. So you cannot. And a lot of people say, well, if you were committing adultery under the law, once you are born again, you cannot continue in adultery. But please pray for understanding, because if you cross over. And, and, and your marriage becomes new. Once you cross over, you die. Once you cross over, you cannot continue in adultery if it is a, a new marriage. It's your first. It becomes your first marriage. So if you are in your first marriage because this person before is dead, you're in your first marriage, a new creation. You are not continuing in adultery. So, again, I hope this gives some clarity to this subject. It is something that is very controversial and um, causing many people to be led into deception. Be blessed.